Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Amanda if you guys are new here and today's video is going to be a cash stuffing for September week number three. So I am wearing a sweater. It is not cold in my room at all. I have a new foster kitten named Okapi. Um, she's named after the animal Okapi, but she's very loud. She's such a crybaby, so I have her in the hood of the jacket. So that's, I think, how we're going to have to get through today's video because she wants to be a crybaby if she's not with me. So um, anyway, I do have a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about before we get started with the video. So I do have a new savings challenge called Budget Roundup, but I also have some happy mail that I did film like a little video unboxing. So I'm going to insert that where I unbox the happy mail from Reynolds Budgets as well as where I talk to you guys about kind of what Budget Roundup is. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that clip if you're interested in seeing that. If not, I will put a timestamp on the screen of when that little segment ends and the cash stuffing starts. This happy mail is from Reynolds Budget. I will go ahead and link her YouTube and Etsy shop down below. Um, she did message me asking if she could send me a savings challenge, but this package is a lot thicker than I anticipated it being. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this package because honestly, you guys, I am so excited. Look at that. There's so much in here. Are you kidding me? And the packaging is so cute. All of the pink washi and just the vibes. Wow, I'm literally obsessed. Dude, look at this. It's like, it's like full in here. Okay, I am so excited about this. Like, I don't even think, I don't even think you know. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this out. So right on top, we do have a little thank you card. Um, Oh my god, look at this business card. This is so cute. Yeah, so she's Reynolds Budget on Etsy, YouTube, as well as Instagram. So all her links will be down below. I'm going to go ahead and read this little card really quick, and then we'll get into all of this good stuff. Katie has been a constant supporter on my channel. Honestly, since I started, like, I recognize her little profile picture anytime she comments or messages me on Instagram. I just, I couldn't be more grateful. Okay, so we're going to backtrack a little bit. I think I was showing the stickers, like, out of frame, but there is a cute little rainbow one then we have one that says dog mom and one that says cat mom and then there are two jars of antidepressants one with dogs and one with cats so these are literally so so cute i do have two cats and a dog um which i think you guys know about but yeah and i also work in an animal shelter because i love 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 animals i currently have a foster kitten it's just animals are like one of my favorite things ever okay so then we have this cute little iou card and it has a christmas tree it's in the cutest little like pastel colors it honestly feels like extremely sturdy it's laminated and it's such a cute little size then we have this thank you mini challenge wow this is cute look at that hollow that literally looks so nice um also very very sturdy and super super cute i love the colors like all the pastels so we have a couple of tinies i was literally considering filming a tiny tuesday this week this is literally insane like i sat down to like print out some tinies from norellis's budgets kofi and i like Wow, I literally, I'm, this is like my sign that I need to start some Tiny Tuesdays. So then we have some of these cute little mini challenges that I could do on mini Mondays. So this one says, welcome fall. I'm so out of frame. I keep forgetting that my phone's rotated. So this one says, welcome fall, and it has pumpkins. It's blank. And then this one has a cute little weenie dog, and each space is $2. These colors are really, like, beautiful. I love this. So then we have this cute bookmark. Oh, it has a Frenchie on it. I love that, and it has, like, a cute little sweater. This could even be a Boston Terrier, but that is awesome. I love all the are you kidding me oh my god i didn't even see that okay so there's this really cool hocus pocus social club this looks so nice look at all the scratches on there look at that this is perfect for halloween and i'm okay this is definitely gonna have to be added into the rotation of the savings challenge um binders that i'm doing and then wow this is literally so freaking cute so monsters inc is literally one of my favorite Pixar movies. Like I have, I have a Mike Wazowski tattoo on my arm, but it says Mike and Sully lost Boo. She's hiding behind one of the doors, but be careful if you scratch the wrong door with the monster that scared her, it could cost you big. So it's save 70. So this one says Halloween, the snack tour. So this is super cute. It has a ghost Mickey on there. 
and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces for a save 50. I believe these are on her Etsy shop, so definitely, definitely check it out. And then we have Just a Girl Who Loves Pumpkin Spice. This is another save 50, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 spaces with this cute little raccoon. So these are all the scratchers that I got, including there's this little thank you mini challenge. These are so beautiful, you guys. Definitely run over to her Etsy shop. Thank you so much, Katie. Again, here her, here, here's her little um information card. So this is her Etsy shop, her YouTube, and then her Instagram. She'll definitely be linked down below, so definitely make sure to check her out. Okay, so now we're going to talk about my new savings challenge game called Budget Roundup. So, of course, it is Toy Story themed. This dashboard is sized for an A5 envelope. So this is what the front looks like, and then the back does tell you how to play. So you can definitely pause and read this if you're interested, but I will be giving you like a quick little um, explanation here in this video. So the game is going to come with eight different cards. So this is what they look like on the back, and this is what they look like on the front. Um, the hollow pattern is probably going to be different on the scratchers that you guys will actually be receiving. It just depends on which ones I buy on Amazon. So there are going to be three rounds to this game. Round one is surface level, just with the numbers that are on the card. Round two it's going to include actions that add um, dollars to this number here. So it'll, for example, say like plus one, so you'll add a dollar, or plus five, you'll add five dollars, that kind of thing. And then round three is going to be multipliers, so it'll be like times two or times three times four. So that is how it's going to work. So for round one, you're going to go ahead and shuffle all your cards. You'll draw one at random, stuff the number on the card, so this would be three. Um, you'll set it aside and then keep playing till the rest of your cards are gone. So for round two, same thing, you're going to shuffle it up pull a card at random so it'll be eleven dollars except you're gonna have to apply this action to that number so let's say i scratch it off and it's plus three so then we'll stuff fourteen dollars for this card and then again you'll play till they're all gone and then for round three we pulled seven so you'll scratch this off and if it's times two then you'll stuff fourteen dollars for this card and you'll just play again till all of them are gone so that is how budget roundup works so these will be listed on my etsy but probably in pretty limited quantities um because i do hand cut the cards and the dashboard for this savings challenge game so it is going to take me like a little bit longer to actually make them um, but yeah, so that is going to be everything for this little cut in and now let's just go ahead and go back to the video. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing. I'm going to be stuffing my normal $130. So I'm just going to move this over to the side and we're going to count my cash. Um, I don't know if she, I don't know if this is even going to work, like if she's in my hoodie while I film this. So let's go ahead and count this money and then we will get started with stuffing my envelopes. So we have 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Can I see? 85, 90, 95, 100, 110, 120. Wait, what did I even say? She's distracting me, so we're going to have to redo this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to recount this money because she is distracting me. I don't know if you can see her. She's having a field day up here. Um, So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110. 111, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Yes. So we have $130. You're squishing my 20. Can, can you come here? Can I take you back? Yeah, look, because you just smashed it. Okay, so now that we have our money counted, we're just going to go ahead and dive in with our sinking funds. So this binder is actually going to go by pretty quick today um, because a lot of the stuff in here is going to be getting skipped. So car maintenance right on top is going to get $7. So I did decide to do half of one of the spaces. So I don't know what color we're going to use today. Um, we'll just go ahead and do this green color. So we're going to be doing half of 14 for seven dollars so let's go ahead and do that and then count what our new total is we're actually gonna need that um i don't think i grabbed the seven dollars yet so five six and seven okay so in here we now have a total of 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 8, 9, 70, and 71. So $71 in car maintenance. Hopefully that's correct. Um, this video is going to be a mess. One, we have a cat on the table. Two, my camera like on my phone is at a different spot. 
So Christmas is going to be getting $15, which is going to be the other half of this $30 space. So I'm just going to fill this in. She got herself stuck in that back corner and now she's crying. She doesn't know how to come back. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab the 15 really quick. Okay, so Christmas now has a total of 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. So I counted 295. Um, let me know if that's incorrect. I do recount all the money when I'm done filming since I don't update my planner as I go anymore. Um, so that's actually kind of inconvenient. So we're going to skip all the way to gifts. She's crawling on top of my binders. Okay, so gifts, I believe, is going to be getting $5. Yes, which is going to be finishing another half space um, right here. So let's go ahead and fill this in. And then grab $5. I hate that my voice sounds so scratchy. It is also fairly early in the morning. Um, but again, I've just had like a really nasty cough. So gifts now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 10, 15, and 20. So $120 in here. Dude, imagine she just uses the bathroom in my cash tray. That would literally be so funny. <laughs> Okay, so the last one that's going to get stuffed in here is going to be travel. And yet again, we are finishing a half space that was already started. Wow, I picked a good color because all of these were already in this lime green. And that was not intentional. Okay, so I'm going to grab that really quick. And let's just see what this is. Okay, so travel now has... Um, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 120 dollars, which hopefully that's right. I'm gonna say that after everything because again, I'm so worried about her um, getting towards the edges of the table. So that is gonna be it for my sinking funds binder. And now we're gonna go ahead and move in to my pet binder, which is this one right here. Okay, so the first envelope in here to get stuffed is going to be cats. Um, look at the cute stickers that I got from Reynolds Budget. So I went ahead and put them in this binder because I feel like that was most fitting. So cats, they're going to get $10 this week. Um, and they have a new total of 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35, which is awesome. Let me know if you have any tips on how to heal up my voice. I do just kind of, I just talk a lot, so... I don't know if I'm ever even going to give it the break that it needs. Um, emergency is going to be getting $10, but I believe, yes, we're going to be able to color in the next space on this tracker um, to represent the $40 that should be in this envelope. So we now have 10, 20, 30, 35, and 40. Okay, so $40 in pet emergency. So next we have preventions so this is gonna get ten dollars and then i'll probably go buy her medicine today um since i'm off and i'm not really doing anything so we have 10 20 30 and 40 dollars in here which means it's now fully funded so that's awesome okay then lastly we have wanda herself and she is going to be getting five dollars so let's go ahead and grab this so she now has a total of 10 15 20 25 30 and 35 dollars Okay, so that's going to be everything for my pet binder. So let's go ahead and move into my annuals and challenges, which actually we're completing one of my challenges in here, and I'm super excited about that. But before we get to all the challenges, let's go ahead and do our annuals first. So right on top, we have anniversary, and that's going to get $2. So I decided I'm not going to count my annuals every time because they get really low amounts. Car registration is going to be getting $1.00. Same thing with D23. So let's just stuff all of these. Father's Day is also getting a dollar. And then we have Jordan's birthday. He will be getting two. If I can open this, that would be nice. Okay, so two dollars in there. Um, then Mother's Day is just gonna get a dollar. I wonder if I should like have 
all the holidays like in its own binder but honestly i don't i don't know i feel like i don't really save for a lot of them i think i can just lump sum the majority of them in that holiday sinking fund that i have but let me know if you have a holiday binder and if that works well for you um because maybe i should try it i don't know i don't know so lastly for annuals we have my birthday and that is going to be getting two dollars Okay, so now we can go ahead and flip back to the front where my savings challenges are. And I am so excited because we are going to be completing my household supplies challenge that has a goal of $250. So it just needed $30 left and that is exactly what we are going to be stuffing. So let's go ahead and grab the $30 and we're going to color in the last two blanks right here. So I, I think I've been working on this one since I like came back if you will back in may so the fact that we're finally finishing this is crazy because we've already at least done um two other challenges but this one has been consistent so we should now have 250 dollars in cash we have 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 200 to 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So $250 completed. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that right there. Now I don't know if I'm going to replenish that challenge only because now I have a savings challenge binder um, and I would rather be saving my money in that area versus necessarily doing it like this. Um, since this money could then go into sinking funds or something like that. If I change my mind, you'll see it in the next stuffing, but I don't anticipate that I will. So next will be my unexpected bills challenge, and this is going to get $10 today. Um, so let's go ahead and do this little spot right here. This one's honestly, again, adding up quicker than... I thought I don't know I just I feel like anytime I think of this challenge I don't think we've done this many spaces and then I look at the tracker and I'm like wow that's crazy um so this one now has 20 40 50 60 70 71 2 3 4 5 so 75 dollars with a goal of 180 oh sorry this goes in the front okay so Next, after this, we have challenge number three. This one is just going to be getting $2, um, which I already used a green marker. So we're going to have to pick a different frosting color. I think we can do, here, we'll do blue. Um, I'm going to color this in super quickly, and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that I colored that in, let's just go ahead and grab our $2. So we now have $10, 11 and $12 in Save That Donut. I think that's so funny. Oh, wait, save that dough with the tea? I don't know. <laughs> I always thought it was just save that donut, but it's fine. So there is $12 in there. And then lastly, we are going to be doing challenge number four. So this one, um, I do reiterate this in almost every video, I feel, but this is going to be going towards my personal loan once it's completed. Um, it's just so I can have like an extra payment towards the principal balance because I really am trying to get rid of this loan. I hate it. I hate that I have it as a monthly bill, um, but it's fine. It happens. So we're going to be stuffing $8 in here, which should be what we have left, which is perfect. I was nervous there was going to be extra money. Um, so this one now has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and $13. So I am doing the 24 envelope challenge for this one, um, which has a goal of $300. So let's go ahead and put this one back. Um, so with that being said, that is going to be everything for this cash stuffing. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Also, the giveaway winners may or may not have already been picked. I pre-filmed my cash stuffings, um, but I know I'm picking the winner for the giveaway on Thursday, and I do plan to post it on my community tab, so definitely be on the lookout. I will also tag them on there. Um, so yeah, but that giveaway is now closed, but definitely, definitely subscribe, um, since I do monthly giveaways, there will be another one in October. So if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.